Hey guys, so today I want to share a free tool to get access to ChatGPT4 and uh, I recently found it and it is a Chrome extension. It's pretty amazing the kind of things this tool can do. It's not just the access to ChatGPT but this is the tool by the way Merlin and uh, to install Merlin you can just search Merlin Chrome extension. It will Once you install it, it will start to show like this here on your screen and uh, when you click here it will start to yeah here we go so this is chat this is merlin's interface it will come here you on every website whichever website you open so as we tried on google page but uh, all right so it's opening on google too now all right so let me just zoom in a little bit so this is how merlin looks all right once you click it it will open from the side you can get it on some more wider screen so from here you can choose what GPT you want to use. Now with Merlin you can do a lot of things. So let me show you what kind of things you can do with Merlin. You can easily summarize a YouTube video. So this is pretty amazing. Now it only works with English videos from what I have experienced. So of course right now it doesn't have other language capabilities but in future maybe then it can write all the things that chat gpt can so it's always good to access it you can press command plus m on windows 2 or for macintosh here you can see command plus m command plus m and uh, macintosh also you can use it so for any in any case you can just click on the side of the website on any website and it will open this kind of interface now you can see here it has got 51 queries left. Now one thing you have to keep in mind that these 51 queries are not necessarily 51 queries that you can give to Merlin. It only takes certain amounts of queries especially when it comes to GPT-4. For GPT-4 this is more of a token system. So it will use 10 tokens for every command. Now it is based on word count. So let me show you. So here you can see this is my chat GPT, this is my Merlin uh, dashboard and look at the things that it can do. Blog summarizer, so on any website you can just ask it to summarize the blog and it will give you a summary. So let me give you an example here. Summary this for me and I know it's summarized but I want to just see if it understands what I'm saying. So let's. So here you can see it has got YouTube summarizer, blog summarizer, Merlin, social media, and the search box. Search box. So I can show you the search box also here. So this is what search box looks like. So here you can just see chat box, and you can just go to here. Once you click here, it will open one more time. All right. So this is what it is. Okay, so let's just move forward with the tutorial. What we can do here is we can check out the dashboard because this is a very important thing. I want you guys to know and uh, it is. As you can see, it is showing 51 requests daily. It is not gonna give us 51 requests though for every chat GPT-4 creation. So one second. For every chat GPT-4 prompt, it will take around 10 tokens from your 51 daily token limit. All right, so it will create around five posts a day if you want to create posts with it. It also has web access with it. I will show you a trick to get web access on your chat GPT-3 directly also in the next upcoming video. So that's all there is to it actually for Merlin. Now Merlin is really great. Go ahead and use it and uh, explore this because it's pretty amazing that you can use chat GPT-4 without paying. And uh, the one thing I can tell you about chat GPT-4 and uh, the one thing I've experienced with it is chat GPT-3 is not going to give you as detailed answers as chat gpt4 and you don't have to write that much longer prompt as compared to chat gpt 3.5 uh, and uh, as you can see here chat gpt3 okay so merlin has chat gpt3 in any scenario go ahead use merlin 
it's pretty amazing it is free to use and uh, at least in a limited quantity you can do a lot of things with it go ahead and use it so, and uh, thanks for watching guys i will see you in the next one